What's up everyone, the Sly and Sonic fan here, and I have two things to talk about. Number one, if you hear any bumping throughout this video, like right now, yeah, that's because of neighbors. Believe it or not, some people actually just don't know how to just sit down in an apartment. Like, I just don't understand. They will just freaking bump, completely inconsiderate of everyone around them. But anyways, even I'm, I, I'm not going to vent to you guys about that because that really makes me mad. And number two, happy 4th of July, everyone. If you're not watching this during the 4th of July, um, this was uploaded on the 4th of July in 2019 so if you but however if you are watching this when it came out then what's up everyone happy 4th of July I hope you guys ha are having the best 4th of July right now and this topic I feel like goes to 4th of July so uh, obviously as you can tell by the title and thumbnail I will be talk I will be giving my thoughts on the new modern warfare that's coming out and if you don't know I am a huge Call of Duty fan. Like, I mean, I've actually played every Call of Duty game on this channel, except for... But I've played every single Call of Duty that's new gen on this channel, except for Black Ops 4. I've played, um, Advanced Warfare on here. I've played, um, Black Ops 3, even though I hate that game. I Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, Ghost. I've done a lot of Call of Duty playthroughs and a lot of Call of Duty videos. Holy crap. Because I love this franchise. And so, after Infinite Warfare, um, it got a lot of bad reception. The campaign wasn't, uh, but, I, I don't know why, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The game wasn't liked. It was despised by a lot of people. And so, I personally thought the campaign was amazing. I thought it was a really heart wrenching realistic, gritty, awesome, amazing campaign. I j oh, I loved it. I know, I know that I didn't say anything, like, actually critique about the campaign but just take my word for it please take my word it's a great campaign i just don't have time or i don't really feel like talking about the campaign right now now multiplayer yeah it was it was terrible but then again it was literally a retread of black ops 3's multiplayer which was worse because the supply drop system was way worse in that game but for some reason people ignored how completely flawed black ops 3's multiplayer was and focused on um if, if I'm focused on hating Infinite Warfare's multiplayer, and um, the zombies, oh my god, the zombie season was one of my f was one of my best gaming experiences ever. I loved playing it with my friends. I loved going to the season, speculating on what maps were coming out. Oh, that was a magical time. So I was excited to see a continuation um, of the game, but after the bad reception, I wasn't sure they were going to make a continuation. But then zombies left off in a cliffhanger, so I was like, oh, maybe they will pick this up in the next game. But, they did it. Uh, they did it. They are now rebooting the Modern Warfare series of a new Modern Warfare, simply titled Modern Warfare. And that's going to be really confusing since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, people refer to as Modern Warfare. They could have they had a subtitle in this game, like Modern Warfare, um, Reblood, no, Reblood, what? <laughs> I don't, don't make me make the titles now, I can't make titles. But, yeah, um... So, uh, now it's time for me to give my thoughts on what was revealed to us so far. So, so far I have seen the reveal trailer and I have seen multiple theories and speculations of what the game would be like and mo multiple news articles and people trying to censor this game. So basically, um, this is going to be, uh, uh, what do I start with how much information we have? Okay, so the graphics. I'll start with the graphical presentation. This easily looks like the best looking Call of Duty game. I'm not talking about like slightly better than like the last game. No, I mean this game is a on a whole nother level and that's true because this is on a whole nother engine so the game's graphics are going to be processed by actual like real photos uh and recordings of real places modified to fit that of a game so this game will uh, most likely probably be one of the most realistic first person shooters we've ever seen probably one of the most realistic games we've ever seen because this new engine is insane it's nothing like we've ever seen before in call of duty and in my opinion i'm not going to say this just because of the graphics like i don't judge games still doing graphics that's like really stupid but this is just another example of how i think infinity wood is the best studio at call of duty right now because Treyarch's doing the oh the Okay, Sledgehammer, mm, <laughs> Sledgehammer made Advanced Warfare, introduced the worst systems in the game, but they made World War 2, which was forgettable. Treyarch has been slipping up with Black Ops 3, which was garbage, Black Ops 4, bigger garbage, so, if anyone, I honestly personally liked it. 
Infinite Warfare and just to see them making so many innovations and changes and bringing the fans what they wanted which was a modern, another Modern Warfare game was oh I, I, I love them for that so I, this is just another example on how innovative and actually ambitious Infinity Ward is and how much they are like putting actual care into the series right now unlike the other two studios so um what's next um shh, the censorship so if you if you know about modern warfare 2's campaign there was some infamous mission there called no russian it was basically where you were undercover um this isn't this is minor spoilers for the campaign but it's not anything made so it won't ruin the experience for you so you're undercover and you're working you're undercover with all these russians and you have to go basically go shoot up an airport and it's like a real simulation of a terrorist attack and while it does make you feel uncomfortable i actually like that about the mission because it actually introduces you to so many harsh casualties and so many just dark and gritty moments like actually working in the military and stuff just like how this actually happens like i like it when a game can make me feel something and that made me feel something but apparently this makes actual terrorists out of people i don't know how a video game does that or a mission like movies do this too but apparently when it's in a video game now that's different so the modern warfare campaign is basically going to be filled with, with um missions that, that that the creators have said are worse than that and i actually find that actually adorable like how they will actually just come out and say their campaign missions are worse than no russian i don't know how in the flipping world they're gonna make a campaign mission worse than no russian probably having children die or something um i don't know what they're gonna do with that but yeah there's a bunch of people trying to censor this game trying to stop it from being released basically just protesting it and those people are just stupid it's fiction it's fake it's just for an emotional experience, for your entertainment, nothing bad comes out of it. And if something bad does come out of it from a person reenacting scenes from that movie or video game, something is wrong with the person, not the movie or video game, because you don't see everyone else doing uh, like terrible stuff like that. Um, so, what else? Uh, the... Oh yeah, um, zombies might not be making a return this season. Um, this Spec Ops basically has been confirmed to be in the game, so zombies is going to be taking a back seat this year, which I would be fine with if it was Sledgehammer or Treyarch. <laughs> But in, in Infinity War, I was actually really liking the IW zombies. I actually thought it was really good. And I honestly would be fine with it not continuing if it didn't leave off on a cliffhanger. I'm mad about that. So we might not ever get a conclusion to the Infinite Warfare zombie storyline, which sucks. I'm actually really upset about that. Trust me, you can take World War II. I don't care about that. <laughs> that story mode was trash. You can take... The, eight, the ether story because that mode has been going on for so many years it's drawn out they made they over convoluted it it's a complicated mess it, it stopped being good at the end of black ops 2 like honestly i would be completely fine if they just go ahead and ended that which they are thank god they can actually just save this from getting any worse than it already is which is pretty bad but um, I actually liked IW Zombies and I was looking forward to a continuation to see what other wacky ideas they could pull up. But Lee Ross is working at Treyarch right now. I don't know why he would switch from an actual good studio to a studio that's doing what they're doing right now. But you no, know, I respect them. I respect his decision. Um, but yeah, so Zombies won't be making a return and I would not care if it wasn't for it uh, coming at the cost of this zombie season continuing. So that sucks. Um... So that a campaign, I will go over what little information we have about the campaign other than that my boy Captain Price is returning. So I honestly don't know what they're going to do with this campaign. So we see the Captain Price is back, but that's been, I've heard that this won't be in the same universe and this might actually be like a reimagining of the story and like it would take different turns and that's true. I am both interested and scared. I'm interested because I want to see what they can do, but I'm also scared because I don't think there's no way they could live up with the great trilogy that the Modern Warfare campaign provided. So I would rather continuation because I'd actually like to see where Captain Price went after all that crap happened in Modern Warfare 3 that I won't spoil, but there's a lot of crap that happened in that game. Um, but, you know what? I respect that. If it's a reimagining, I respect it. And plus, I heard that the first mission involves nukes and all that, which is tragedy. Um, so, if this campaign is, like, really tough, it's really rough, and, like, it's original, 
then I can go ahead and welcome this to like the great editions of campaigns because like we've never really had a bad Call of Duty campaign even in Advanced Warfare in World War 2 the campaigns weren't bad they were just mediocre well I thought Advanced Warfare was good but me World War 2 was mediocre the only bad campaign we've ever had was Black Ops 3's um and thankfully Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign I was upset that they didn't have one but to be honest, if they did make one, it'd probably be garbage, because <laughs> the writers, oh, the writers for Trailer Cam have been doing as well as of late. Um, except for the Blood of the Dead Easter Egg, uh, that was the ending, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, as you can obviously tell, like, I don't know how you can tell if you don't know this yet, I did not script this at all. I'm just giving you, I'm just talking, and whenever I talk about a topic, I usually get off track and start talking about something else, like, somewhat related to the topic, and then I get off hand. Um, so overall, am I excited for Modern Warfare? I really am. I actually really am excited to see um, what will come to Modern Warfare. Um, there hasn't been any news released about the multiplayer except it's obviously going to be boots on the ground since it's going to be set in a modern setting. And can I just go ahead and say, thank God there's finally a modern Call of Duty game. I love World War II, uh, the, the futuristic elements have its moments, but modern setting is usually the best setting to have a multiplayer uh, Call of Duty game, because I don't know what it is, but I just love modern setting. World War II is limited, because you know they didn't, they didn't have any good technological advances during then, and then the futuristic settings has too much <laughs> uh, uh, technological advancements that makes the multiplayer not really that fun with all the X and stuff. So Modern Warfare is like the perfect mix to me. It's boots in the ground, you know, um, you gotta put in a lot of tough work, you don't have all these exos and goliaths and stuff, but also you can have like attack helicopters, and you can have like actual really good guns, machine guns, LMGs, World War 2 had all that, but I honestly think it's better in a modern setting, so yeah, and not all, I'm just I'm just happy. I'm just happy that this game's existing. I'm happy that we're going to um, be getting a campaign that's uh, in the same universe as Modern Warfare. Um, I would can I would prefer I actually would prefer the Infinite Warfare 2 better more than this game. I know everyone's going to be like, what? <laughs> After I said that, but it's true. Um, I would actually prefer an Infinite Warfare 2 because I would like to see where the campaign would go. If they fix the multiplayer, then I would love, then there'd be nothing wrong with the game. If they continue the zombie season, I would have loved that. But you know what? I understand that game wasn't criticized well, and they're doing what the fans want, and I absolutely respect them for that. And, um... Yeah, we're going to be getting a good campaign, finally. I'm so glad that they have a campaign. I never thought a Call of Duty game having a campaign would be good news. But after Black Ops 4, any news is good news at this point. Because that game took all the wrong directions. So glad they waste my money on it. Um, so, the multiplayer, if it's set in the modern setting, the supply drops aren't really as bad as they were in Black Ops 3, then I'm golden. I'm good. Um, if the Spec Ops is fun, it's just co-op madness like they were in the old Modern Warfare games, then I'm happy. Plus, I hope there's a tiny chance zombies might be in this. Maybe, maybe they haven't announced it yet. Maybe they're going to pull out Advanced Warfare and announce it, like, at the start of the season. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this trailer thoughts video. Um, let me know what you guys think of Modern Warfare because I'm seeing a bunch of mixed reactions. Well, not mixed reactions. I don't know what I'm saying. I, everyone that I uh, talked about with this game is actually pretty excited for it. So, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for Modern Warfare? Are you crazy like me and would prefer the Infinite Warfare 2? Or would you prefer a different game altogether? So, um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this new Modern Warfare game. And as always, um, this is this is this been it. <laughs> I don't know how to say an outro except for my usual outro, which is I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace, everyone.